Oh, these dandelions are nice. Is there another one? There's definitely another one. Help! No! No, there's another one! Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Northern Journey. Last time, we went through the troll hole. Uh, we only fought, like, three trolls, question mark? Assuming the little bell dudes are little tiny trolls. Uh, but it was a very interesting um, dungeon-like area because there was just a new thing around every corner. It was very, very interesting to see all these different uh, gameplay change-ups and such. And so now here we are. Uh, we just got the last shield in order to uh, open up the way to Knock Pond. So now that we got our last shield, we need to go ahead and head on over there. But real quick, let's double check to make sure we grabbed everything. Make sure there's no, like, red vials or something like that up here. Because <laughs> we would have to go through the entirety of the troll hole again. And at least some sections would still have their enemies, so... I don't really want to do that again. <laughs> Uh, hopefully we got all of the vials that were in the troll hole itself. We did get quite a few uh, health upgrades and such. So. Alright. Oh, what? Oh no, the, there's the troll hole. For a second I thought we didn't unlock the troll hole in the in the map. I was looking um, to the left of it, but no, look, there's the troll hole. Just a little, little uh, tunnel system there. So there is something left of the troll hole that green slit connects to to the south that has two entrances, you know, probably one entrance, one exit. And then of course there's the way north, which, you know, assumably is where we need to go. Whoa. Should be. Yeah, this is the way to uh dead well. I'm gonna head on over there just to heal real quick. I didn't need that health since I'm just going to- oh, there we go. Since I'm just heading there to get healed, but... You shall fight a large troll in a deep mountain hall. The antlers of the half-eaten beasts will try to break you. We just did that. Uh, I think this actually was the first time you wasted my time, because I, I literally just did that. At this point, I'm genuinely surprised I wasn't ganked by a demon upon walking in here. Pet worm escapes. Is there a red door near? Yep, yep, yep. So... Do the dimensional violators, as the game loves to call them, do they open doors to hell? Or some, you know, folklore equivalent? Head on back to Green Slit, yeah. Green Slit is still an unfortunate name. All right, here we go. <laughs> Good thing you guys didn't see how lost I was. All right, so I have reason. Uh, the letter from the flute player said that we're gonna probably have to fight who, the owners of these uh, shields out of axes, unfortunately. But we're gonna go ahead and. Yeah, okay. Put the last shield here. Come to the flame outside with your bow. Okay.
This is gonna start a boss battle, I can feel it. Alright. Shields up, we'll attack one at a time. Alright. What is this slinky boy? Look at this slinky. shall pass guys I shall pass that was a neat little battle there's surprisingly honorable about it nice to spit me out, I guess, to the trail to knock on. Oh dear. Travel to knock pond. Yes, please. Fuck yeah. Knock pond. Now, I don't, I'm not 100% sure I'm pronouncing Knock Pond correctly, um, but Knocks are those, uh, they're water nymphs, basically. Sprites, one of those. They're water creatures. <laughs> I love the sudden, like, twang in the music. Huh. Oh, hello there. There is an ancient entity called Nakin in the pond. Yeah, Nakin. Shooting it is pointless. You must move if you hear it call. The draw will make you drown yourself. Locate a witch statue that is hidden on the other side under a frog. Someone removed a part of the statue and then the bridge to Sourwood was blocked. And there is a new weapon here. Find the bear crossbow and the goat lever to use it. Interesting. I, I am happy that while we are doing things for him, and he very likely is the one who uh, broke our boat, the, um, the flute player does take care of us for the most part, which is, you know, better than most quest givers. So are these guys, like, going to attack me? Dragonflies? Are we good? Good. Are, are we good? Are we good? No, we're not good. Can't aim for shit. Ooh. It's 
I gotta wait till I see the, the light of their eyes. I was gonna say white of the eyes, but I don't think they have white in their eyes. Anyway. Slappy. I am literally, wait, wait, wait. Is that the call? I'm not pressing anything. I am slowly being pulled. Is that the knock over there? The knockin? The knockisk? Ooh. Just pull you more when you get closer. Oh, I see you over there. You pulling me. Like, the distance on this guy is pretty notable. Fuck. Ugh. I see you. So, uh, this guy, the knock, the knockin' in the pond, um... He is... Uh, like, the imagery used here is used as the main cover for the game, the main image, on, uh, Steam and stuff. Um, and the way it's framed there, as well as the actual imagery itself, is based off of a famous painting. That's neat. I think it's a good, uh, good summary of this game, honestly. Nice. See, you can really hear the... Skeeters. But the dragonflies are pretty silent. Stop pulling me! sprint in order to get away from him now. All these dandelions are nice. Is there another one? There's definitely another one. Help! No! No, there's another one! Fuck! Damn it. I didn't see the other one, so I'm like, oh, cool. I'm gonna get, to get the red and all that. It's like, nope, do not do that. Nice. Since they all go down in, like, one hit... I wonder if I should switch over to... the rotating. There we go. You really gotta be careful, how about... About how close you get. See, there's a lot of things here. Ah, oh, I want them. I'm gonna try to get that red and then I'm gonna sprint back. I'm trying to bring you over here, maybe. Tree. 
No, I think it's specially meant to stop you from being saved by trees. Let's go. Fun little little challenge there. Which is the part where it's like, oh no, you're supposed to go to the other side, and then you'll have a weapon to kill it or some shit like that. There we go. See, I suspect there's gonna be a uh, dark barrier on the other side, because there's too many enemies that would be easy to run around, but are significantly more difficult to kill thanks to the knock. Get off me! Ah! Get off! Bad skier! Fuck you! God, they actually took my blood! So wait, were the other ones also skeeters? Cause they didn't grab my blood, I don't think. Maybe wrong in that. Ooh! I didn't think that would hit. trying to claim. There we go. Fuck. Still won't let me save, though. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna go back out there and harass the bugs. Oh! You get, like, right up there, don't you? Okay, what do we have here? Getting some nice distance kills here. Nice! Oh, this weapon is still so satisfying when you do get a hit. Woo! What is that? It's green, it's a buggy. All I did was make it mad. A 
little buggy. Is that a ghost? I think it was gonna like follow me as I go along. Hello? Hi. Gonna just Whoops, I missed. Little creepily thing. Boop. Your snoot has been booped. Ah no. Things like cave roaches, dwarf roaches, but like in the cave. Nice. I don't think I was going to hit that. There's one that fell. Also, what the hell is that? Hey, 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 hey! Don't go tumbling my way. Oh, weird ghosty goo roaches. Is that a corpse? Or is it like a witch? Is it a witch's corpse? Oh, it's got a- it's a dude. You know, if this was any other game, I'd be like, oh, a dead wizard or something like that, but I don't know, this game could just be a dude. You're so tall. The corpses that we find, both, like, here, uh, the one in the cave or whatever, they're so tall. <laughs> like, I'm not saying that the live people are particularly short, but the corpses in particular tend to be, like, much bigger than, you know, I would think. Got the other side key. Yay! What were you doing in here? Did you just break your back? I guess that's what happened. You break your back on something on the rock. Gee, I wonder what he broke his back on. <laughs> Sorry. It's a baton and all that. Okay then. I think all this water is safe to walk in. try to keep going to the left so we can get up on that bridge area or something over here um and if the water ends then we'll uh, go around the right side of the pond instead i think we should be able to continue left though Never mind then. I said continue left, but I was wrong. We need to head back to the right and loop the long way around. Nope! <laughs> I'm like, I want that red. If I'm really fucking quick. Satan! Ah, ah, 
<laughs> and with that, we get a permanent health upgrade of one point. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna loop around on the right. Just go the long way, I guess. Ooh, you are just right there. Hey. How's it going? Just get a nice view right here. For like comparison's sake to the to the uh painting. Anyway. Fuck. You fuck! Nice. I'm gonna head and take care of you. Nope. I saw a red up here. Oh, there it is. Permanent max. Yeah! It's only point by point, but it does feel good to collect the red. Files. Just the idea that I'm getting stronger, even if it's very, very small increments. I think it can get right up to the thing, can't it? Not quite, but it can get damn close. Hmm. Do I need to come back here with a... Yeah, I need a crank. Well... It was said that it was here, in Knockpawn, so... Maybe it's the way we loop back, because the levels are really good at looping back. Oh! There's a path back here. Okay, okay. I was like, wow, I can't lure it away and there's no path forward, but, you know, cool. Bitch. Ah, snake! Whoa! No! Too many snake! Too many snake! They're adorable! I love snakes. Snake adorable. Woo! That's a lot of them, though. Why are there so many? Oh, I looked at my health and I did not like what I see. So many snick. Ah. Yeah, no. <laughs> All right. Let's see how we handle snick. Oh, you know what? You know what? A bit. I don't think this is working. Look how cute they are, though. They got the snake eyes. I love snakes. They're so cute. Yeah, I'm dying. Hmm. Okay, okay. Let us try. Uh. Right there.
Okay. So we need to be very careful not to activate all the snakes at once. That was my problem. I can work with this. I can work with this. Fuck that up. Whoa! I somehow only attracted one. Look at your cute little eyes! to see if they didn't attack unless I attacked first. <laughs> Need to find a pulley. Okay. So there's the pulley around here. Wait, I'm looking for a snake lever, ain't I? Wasn't that one of the things I need to find? Oh. Is that the pulley? <gasps> yeah, you got rope pulley. Now ropes can be used. Yeah! That's actually what I've been needing. So we just unlocked so many places in, uh, in, um, ride one-way line out of the snake pit. Um, so many places in Green Slit. Look at that. Whee! Yee! Oh! Oh, okay. All right, now we gotta get back without getting our asses kicked. Actually, shouldn't be too bad. There's a rope, like, right there, across the map. Wonder if we can... Because from what I gather, these are just normal ass moose. They really are just that aggressive. Fuck. I'm sorry, Canada. It must be done. Did he just stomp me into the ground? <laughs> Eat shit, Canada. 
The moose had red eyes. That means I'm allowed to kill it, right? Ignore the albinos. Wait, where is this? Wait, where am I? I thought I was heading back to the f entrance. Wait. Yeah, there's the river. From the beginning. And then here's the trail up. And around. What? Where was the flute player then? What the shit? Am I having a stroke? Where? Where did this shit come from? There was a there was a hill here, with the flute player. What? Am I on the other side of the lake? Did I go the wrong way? That completely? I thought there wasn't a roundabout way. What? Guys, I think I might be having uh, an episode. This feels like the Ozarks. It's all the red. <laughs> e to unlock. Oh, it's the key we found on the bearded dude. This is house? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this is not a real door. It's a real fake door over here. But that's a real, real door down here. Huh. Weird way to go about it. What a brave. A sorcerer forged strange devices. They could tear holes into other worlds. They are the dimensional violators. Is that Is that the final name we're going with there? Not you don't you don't say it aloud and then then listen. You know what? You know what? No. Okay, fine. Here, our pants and sockless friend comes into the story. He found the castle where they were hidden and took them. 
He did lose them soon after, as is to be expected. Return all three to me. The witches in Sourwood possess the first. So we, we're, we're, we're getting into the nitty gritty of, 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 of doing this quest, are we? I just realized that the raven has like some weird back tumory thing going on. What's up with that? You okay there, Boyle? What's up with your back? You just that floofed? Just that floofed up? Look at that. Oh well. Uh, thanks for the letter. So we need to head in to Sourwood to uh get the first piece. Okay. Is there a... Nope, it's just Knock Pond. Let's see if there's an exit on Knock Pond yet. Wait, we need to unlock the area, obviously. Let's let her down. Yeah! Green sled. Okay, so the, the, this is the pathway. This is just immediately past the pathway? Yeah, I see it now. I wasn't quite having a stroke. I was just stupid. Good to know. So using this rope... We can get to the other side of the pond, back and forth. Two-way line to the other side. So they do tell you straight up if it's one way or two way. That's nice. And where it's going too, that's, that's equally nice. Oh look, you get a nice view of the pond. There's a thing over there. Ooh. Is that a bear? Yeah, it's like a bear or something over there. A surprisingly large space. There's the knock. So is there like a second pond? Huh. Look at that. Or maybe they're floodlands. Hmm. Whoa! No, 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 bad bear! Motherfuck! You, I was attacking the, the bug. You don't like skeeters, do you? Did you just fucking? <laughs> so note to self, um, even if you're clearly attacking the mosquito, the bear will get mad. So with that in mind, we need to just kill the bear first. There's more than one bear?
Damn it. you get for pissing me off, man. It's... There's another bear and I'm out of rotating cross bolts, but you know. Is this the other side of the snake pit? Oh yeah, look at that. like more skeeters no it was a fucking swamp spider a bunch of them too what the shit why didn't i see him what the shit where are they See one right there. They get wolf spiders in Norway? I like wolf spiders. They don't leave in webs. That or a brown recluse. Which we get both here. And yes, I know there's a lot of spiders that look like brown recluses, okay? You don't have to give me shit about how, like, every other spider looks like a brown recluse. I know. I live in Texas. Every time I see a spider, I have to identify and make sure it's not a brown recluse. Because then we need to fumigate the fucking house, because those things are fucking deadly! Yeah, I don't think... Do they have deadly spiders in Norway? Like, we do here, but... You know, Texas. Very different climate. I know that the, uh... Black Widow that kills people is Greek and not, uh... American. The American Black Widow is not nearly as deadly. Fucking spiders! Look at them! Are they recluses that like live in the waters? That's what's happening here? If so, that's actually kind of a neat idea. Hope I didn't see you. Nope. Love how they tumble. Thought I wouldn't notice you there. Oh, 
Hope I see you. Nice. Here, one of you bastards. Seriously, are these brown recluses that like recluse into the water? That's neat. If that is the case. But also terrifying. Why why do you have brown recluses in Norway? I should be dead now. I got serious necrosis. Motherfuck hey, 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 hey. Hey! Hey! What are you fucking booze? Oh my god, they are. They don't move when you look at them. That's amazing. They're boo spiders. They move like booze. Weeping angel spiders, motherfuck. Nice. It does mean I always know they're ahead of me, though. If not, they would be eating my giblets. Oh? Speaking of eating my giblets, motherfucker, we are there. These mosquitoes make a lot of noise, so you know when they're all dead. You no 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 no. You little fuck. Nice. What's that respawning over there? Someone keeps respawning just above the ground and then falling. Spot? This game's pretty good at keeping the enemies dead. <laughs> what is this? Full switch? A door opened very close by. Woo. Like really conscious of spiders is like oh spiders <sighs> mother fuck you mother shit you I think you're wolf spiders because wolf spiders one they live in more places two they hunt to their prey like like that they don't they don't use webbing or anything they they literally sneak up and eat their prey like that but with that in mind fuck you also I didn't see the fiddle, I saw the lines. Anyway. Every spider looks like a brown recluse. Ha ha! Cross. Bear cross bolt. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. Okay. Four! Oh no. Got- found a goat lever. Needs a matching bear cross- Oh, it wasn't a snake lever, it's a goat lever. Okay. Now I need the actual bear crossbow. Once I do, I can use it. I bet that's where those bears were. I did not see you there. 
I did not see you! It did. I'm sorry, Snick. I love Snick. Snick no love me, though. Snick is incapable of love. Does not matter. Still love Snick. Wait a minute. <gasps> Wait a minute. Oh. This is where the frog statue was, right? I just had to explore this particular path that happened to have a snake in it. But, I also didn't happen to see this. Ooh. There. Look at that. Hello? 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 You do not have both eyes? Oh. What the shit? Whoa! Look at this! He opens his mouth and blah, blah. Oh, oh, oh. So I need eyeballs? Rope pulley, fix headlamp, goat foot. Okay. I will be back. You like. Oh, I tricked you into looking. Yeah. Huh. That's neat, though. That's neat. So we're gonna be coming back here. We need to remember where this is. Oh. Hey, buddy. A flask filled with the strength of nine men is in your reach. Oh, <gasps> Ropes and green, green slit will lead you. Find the bear crossbow and the goat lever if you have not done so first. Okay, so basically, make sure you get your the, the bear crossbow before you leave. Uh... And then go to Green Slit, take the ropes, which I kind of knew was the way forward. I'm, I'm just imagining someone who didn't explore the rest of Knockbond <laughs> before heading back. Yeah, good doggo. There is a cave in here um, with the frog. Okay. Nice. Nice! We'll be coming back. Oh, it's right near the entrance to the area, so arguably you would probably go there really quickly. Oh! Oh, this is the, bar the part with the knock. Okay. How is that? Hello? Um... Is that an engine? And a trebuchet. An engine and a trebuchet. What? Is the engine attached to the trebuchet? Is this a diving bell? No, because it'd be bell shaped. That'd be interesting if we end up going underwater. If you look around my channel, you could probably see that I very much agree with the idea that the ocean is a very good setting for horror and, 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 and creepy settings and stuff. Um, I do th not have thalassophobia, though. Whoa, you just go right up. I piss off a friend? No? Thought I heard more than one. So the snakes are going to be hiding in the grass. Uh, not as bad as those fucking wolf spiders, though. Wrap drawn out. J. Oh, yep, there's Knock Pond with the 
exits. So there is an exit. There's an island further beyond the pond. Ravenfend actually feeds into it. That's good. That's neat to know. Um, and then there's an exit north from there. So when we inevitably need to head further north, that's where we go. That's neat. Where are we? This is the... Uh, nope. Not a fan of that. Oh, where that, um... Yeah, I saw this before. A crane or something. Oh, I see what's happening here. Bear crossbow! Yeah! <laughs> I see what was happening there. So you need to grab it, but you need to grab it quick. Who the fuck put it there? Why would you put it there? Oh, I can't see shit. Eat shit, motherfucker! Bear crossbow! Yay, look at it! Powerful and accurate, very useful for targets far away. Slow to reload, can be kept loaded in inventory. Damage 180! Ah! Unfortunately, we will be saving it for boss fights, though. There is a bear down below we can easily test it on. I think that's the intent of having the bears there. But with that in mind. It needs to be saved. We will be using it, though. But nothing says we can't look at it and even reload it. Ooh, that's a long reload, but I bet it's worth it. Tempting. So tempting. Said it was good I've been uh, far away. Hmm. No, no. We get to live today. It's the water that makes it where I can't shoot you. Not your own power. Keep that in mind. Yeah, is this the... Yeah, this is that one path to the side area? You know what? We're gonna kill this bear with the bear crossbow. And then reload. That's what we'll do. <laughs> it's still a bear. The reload time, though. There kicked my ass. <laughs> and it took a lot of bullets, but it does appear to be the most. It, it, it does uh, meet its goal of being the most imp powerful weapon we have so far. Also, does that by being uh, slow to reload as shit. Be a good opener weapon. I will say that. And uh, since I plan to save it for boss fights anyway, it'll probably work out. Alright, now that we reloaded, don't kill me, bear. Come near me. I don't wish to kill you. I don't seem to get anything in particular by killing the bear. Did we ever go up on that bridge? Did we ever explore the bridge? Let's do that. Real quick before we end up leaving. Oh, there is stuff blocking the way, though. Hmm. So there's an entire section of this level 
that we can't get to, I don't think. Yeah. I assume it's deep over there. Interesting. Okay. I think we've explored all of Knock Pond that we can at the moment. I mean, we've unlocked the map. We've uh, found the weapon we need. Let's see here. Not strong enough to remove the heavy rock. Can't do that yet. Insert two wooden eyes to the witch statue in Knock Pond to open the path to Sourwood. Oh, okay. So we need to get back to Green Slit. Use the ropes to find the eyes and then come back and then go to Sourwood. Okay. Find a flask filled with strength. Use the rope lines in Green Slit. So we're also looking for that while we're there. Find the dimensional violator the witches in Sourwood possess. So that's why we need to get to Sourwood. Get the item at the end of the ballista rope line, which that's the, that's the, um, the ballista that we shot previously from the top of the haunted tower. So we need to head back to the haunted tower, go up some, uh, that's not the way up there, go up some, um, lines or down some lines, through some lines. We, we need to take advantage of the, of the pulley system we now have. And, uh, find what we can find, and then come back. Alright, so we have returned to the, to to the haunted tower. Uh, the ghosts are still inside, and they're still gonna wreck my shit, so this should be... Fun. Wow, that was loud. It's so difficult to stay on the side. Motherfuck. Uh, I only got a few hits. Good. Not that bad at all. Okay. I'm gonna just slip down here. Just kind of one way, uh, one way line to ballista target. Here we go. Why is that bloody? Shiny. Trilobite key. Oh! There was the... 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 cave thing from before, right? That's like a rope away, so we can go that direction. I bet there are some eyes there. How do we get down without murdering ourselves? <laughs> Is this the right way? Probably not. Oh, there's nothing up there to find. Oh, hey, Raven! On the other side, there is an old fortress guarding the Trilobite tomb. Bandits, now long dead, once occupied the fortress. Then someone performed necromancy on them. They may need to die again. Found the bear crossbow in Knock Pond yet? It will be of use to you, particularly against faraway enemies. Okay. So we're about to head into a fight. That's good to know. How do I get? <laughs> so how do I get to the thing of the birds in the way? A right, two-way line to fortress. I'm 
Okay. Fuck. Fuck. Ooh. That is um, sound design. Jeez. Oh no! Oh no! Whoa, no! No! Steam overlay! I press tab, and I guess I press shift at the same time or something, or, or, or something, because steam overlay came up and not change weapon. That's so dumb. Holy shit. Yeah, no. Um uh, maybe maybe I do need to take care of those those fireball guys and not just run towards the gate. <laughs> uh. I hit someone with the thing. Killed one. Oh, did I get the last one? Cool. Now, before we do anything...
good look at these guys. Are they are they just really are they naked men or they're not naked, but you know what I mean? Are, are they men in like loincloths here? What are we looking at? enough. Nowhere near fast enough. I think just now. Ah! Just run! Run, 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 run. Just keep running. I am out of arrows. I'm out of bolts. Fuck you! There, fuck! Okay. Very much running out of ammo of everything. Yeah. for some arrows. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, you better die on that. Get in my tea, let's go. Yeah! 
One more. One more, you sh fucking bastard. Fuck you. Do not fall in water. Do not fall in water. Uh. Oops. Fuck! Yeah! Eat shit. Come on, one more. Come on. Probably not one more. Probably two more, but... Oh, nope. I was wrong. Oh my god, save. Oh my god, save. Save. Ah. Ah. You better have one of the things I'm looking for, damn it. Ah. I just stormed a castle. Fucking A. Deep breath. Well, that was stressful, but awesome. I feel powerful. I feel good. This is great. I love this. Like legit, I actually love this. Like I'm not. I'm not like. I'm not like doing a thing. Like I. I, I legit. Is that right there? Can I just slip on down without hurting myself? Yeah. Yeah. Your dish. Grabba dish. Grabba a dish. Well, not a grabba, but you know. Neat. I would love some ammo for like any of my weapons right about now. <laughs> I think I used literally all of them, and most of them have no ammo left at all. I had a skeleton horse? Oh, I get trilobites and all that. Yeah. That's... Is that Sylphnir? Is that supposed to be Sylphnir? Uh... I think it's Sylphnir is his name. The... The... the okay, so once upon a time in, in the ancient Norse... Uh, whatever. Uh... Loki, uh... God of mischief and household. Funny enough. Uh, decided I, or, Loki, um, was tasked by, I think Odin, it was, he was tasked by someone to stop a man from completing his work, and he was using a horse to help, uh, help him move stone around and stuff, and so to distract the horse, Loki turned into a female mare, Loki is a male God, he turned into a female mare. Keep in mind, this is the same society where it's against the law for for someone to be too unmanly. So, so this th this male god turned into a female horse, got distracted the stallion by letting uh, by uh, you know making love, making babies, and then Loki stayed as a mare, was pregnant with. A whore with a foal, and then gave birth to a s eight legged horse, I believe. And so we got Sylphnir here. So, yeah, the Norse gods were really weird, especially Loki. Uh, he, he returned to his normal life as a, a, a male god after that. <laughs> after he gave birth to the horse. I think Odin rides Sylphnir? I don't know. I also am probably mispronouncing Sylphnir, so, uh,. Arrow to the key. Oh, this is if you haven't gotten the key yet. I see. Okay, so that's the way back in case you forgot to get the key. Makes sense. Imagine getting this far and, like, d not having the key and it's like, whoops. It's a neat door, by the way. I really like this door. I want this door in real life. 
Trilobite tomb. Okay. Are we gonna get some some draugers and um I'm trying to think of other undead Nordic things. They got their own version of a remnant. Rev I know they have their own version of a revenant, but I forget what it's called. I just realized I still have no fucking ammo, but I love the trilobites on the wall. Like, the fossilized walls and shit. This is cool. It gives, like, um... A Geiger-esque feel without being completely alien. Like, knowing that these are trilobites going in. Obviously, if I didn't know, I'd be like, Oh, full Geiger, but no. Now that I know, I can see their legs and stuff. And Yeah, this is neat. And we're going to be saving this for next episode. I very much am enjoying this game. It's just so many cool events, one after another. Every episode is completely unique. Every enemy... Well, I wouldn't say all of them are completely unique, but they're definitely memorable. They all have gimmicks. They all have things you have to figure out, strategies and uh, ways to kill them, ways they kill you. Uh, I love the environments we've been getting. I, I did not think we would storm a fort and then immediately walk into a Geiger-esque cave, but here we are. <laughs> um... So yeah, I very much love this game still, and I am just, just literally everything this game has thrown at me has just made me fall in love with it more. I I just absolutely love this game. I, I really wish more people would, would know about it, which is why I have 100% decided to re uh, review it. In fact, I've uh, re re uh, I've saved and gone back and redone things <laughs> off screen just so I have uh, double footage just in case, you know, for uh, my review later and stuff. So look forward to that if you uh, are on my review channel. Um, but yeah, wow, I am just gushing over this game. I love it to absolute death, and I cannot wait to show it to you guys. Uh, my only frustration is because of how big the file size gets. I'm just going at a snail's pace through this game, because I have to stop like every 10 minutes to, to, to render out a file and make sure it's not over 100 gigs. So, outside of that, I absolutely adore this game, and uh, highly recommend it. If you've gotten this far, and you're an FPS fan, and you haven't played this game yet? What are you What are you doing? Why haven't you yet? I assume you have, like, maybe a time or money constraint or something. But please, go buy this game. Go support the dev whenever you have the ability to. Because, my God, this game! Ah, I love it! And so, without further ado, thank you guys so much for coming by. Please, join me next time. I love you! And bye-bye.